Manning High School. Derek has earned a 4.405 GPA. He has served as treasurer of the senior class. Other activities and accomplishments include National Honor Society, Student Council, Federal Reserve Challenge, and soccer. Additionally, Derek received the Outstanding Senior Award in Math and Social Studies. He will attend Grove City College and major in Electrical Engineering. And now, Derek William Brown. Joel 
Daniel Bennett. Worthy of recognition. 
I'm sorry that I cannot mention those two. But, nevertheless, we have left our mark on our school and on our community. We have gained our immortality here. But now it's time for us to go our separate ways, to take our many diverse gifts God has given us, and to impact the lives of many others, leaving our marks as we travel through this world. We will never be forgotten here, but we must now show the world our excellence and fulfill our greatest dreams, like King Arthur. To be a legend, the world will always remember. So now, I would like to say congratulations to you all, and leave you with a quote from the talented transcendentalist Henry David Thoreau, who once said, Go calm dimly in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you've imagined. Thank you. Accepting an applause tonight, the class of 2006 is our president, Erica Lynn Sloss. Erica is the daughter of Jim and Amy Sloss of Katami. She was a member of the National Honor Society and the tennis team. Erica plans to attend Penn State University to major in education. Ladies and gentlemen, Erica Sloss.
and Stephanie Page Helm.
or an international relationship. It is with great pride and honor that I introduce and present Mrs. Ms. Katie Schaefer. First off, I'd like to thank uh, all the staff, administration, 
and Dr. Kirk for being here tonight, as well as all you out in the audience. And I'd like to extend my congratulations to the class of 2006. You did it on this. Now, as I look at this group of graduates, I see a class different than every other class that's passed through Western Open so far. I don't know if it's because we were here since seventh grade or if the chemistry was just right, but uh, I've always sensed a uh, sense of unity within our class. Uh, I know that if I ever had a problem, I could talk to anyone in this class, and uh, we had our share of good times and bad times. But I'm not sure any other school that I've heard of knows that you can just talk to anyone in that class. Uh, and a class like John was my place to work. Okay, as we go on in years in the future, whether it be college, in the workforce, or whatever our future holds for us, there are going to be a new group of people that we associate with. New friends that we might feel we have to impress. Some of us may see it as a chance to reinvent ourselves, to start over, to change. My one advice to you is to stay who you are. You don't have to change yourself to impress anyone. After all, being ourselves is the best we're ever going to be, right? A kind of funny story that goes along with this. Uh, my mother and I were going through stacks and stacks of old pictures last week. And uh, I came across one that kind of caught my eye. I could have been any older than four or five. And there I was, in my room, in my underwear with a cowboy hat on, <laughs> shoot, shooting stuffed animals with a toy gun. <laughs> I was all decked out, I got a holster on it. Now I'm sure some of you are asking, what does this have to do with anything? But being the shameless person that I am, I can honestly say that that picture defined my character and my personality and who I am. Through the years, I've tried to keep my character relatively the same and not change under the pressure that I still present. And as most of the people here on stage have vouched for, I think I've done a pretty good job of keeping my outlandish personality intact. Many of you have done, done a great job of not hiding where you are, too. Whether it be a well choreographed dance by the Powder Puff cheerleaders, or the entire bus on the class trip, knowing and furthermore singing two verses of a whole Backstreet Boys song. It's a little scary. Isn't it? In a way, this speech itself defines me. I didn't think about speaking tonight, or let alone writing my speech until the middle of this week. And as any of my teachers, friends, or family will tell you, I rank pretty high in the world of procrastinators. I guess what I'm trying to say with all this is, yes, sometimes change is inevitable, and yes, sometimes it is for the better. But when and if you do change, make sure it's on your terms. Don't change for anyone else. Make sure what you do fits your personality and your character. <laughs> Staying true to yourself can only lead to future happiness in life. And with that, I'll leave you with a quote that I earlier made, made up this week. <laughs> in every one of you, there is a child wearing a cowboy hat in their underwear shooting stuffed animals with a toy gun. <laughs> Don't be afraid to let them out of it. <laughs> it is with a sense of accomplishment that each member of the 2006 graduating class of Washington High School reaches up and moves the tassel from the left to the right, letting the world know that they are ready to commence and take their place in the world of tomorrow.